Hi, in this video I'm going to take a quick look at creating a new component and a new library in uh, Autodesk Eagle 8.2.1. Uh, the reason uh, you want to create a new footprint and a new component will be A, you have an existing footprint that you don't like and you want to ex change the size of the pad so that it's comfortable to hand solder and stuff like that. And B, you don't have the footprint at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new component and a new library. So the, uh, the objective is to see how fast we can do this. Uh, Part I've chosen today is, hold on, there we go. The part I've chosen here is the MSP430F2274. Uh, this, is an, this is a microcontroller that's in a plastic small outline package and it's 38 pins. So this is the data sheet and it has the LAN pattern and the uh, drawing of the pads and the layout that uh, is required for the component. Uh, simply going to file, new, library, uh, before I do anything, I'm just going to press Control S so that I know where it's saved. It, my stuff is in Dropbox, uh, Project and Work Files. This is some projects in Hold. I'm just doing some stuff. DIY PCBs, sample boards, design PCB, and layout. Save it here. <clears throat> it's called eagle.lbr. I'm going to start with creating a package. Okay, so the package is the footprint part. So it's a uh, SOP. 38 uh, click on ok new component create a new component oh yes please uh, this is my um, uh, footprint editor and now what I want is a footprint spacing of 0 0.65 and then the row spacing of 7.4 what units millimeters cool uh, so let's go back into this and we can change by so currently it's at 50 mil the grid's at 50 mil i can just type in the command 0 point uh, grid in millimeters uh the saner and quicker option is to 0 0.6 what's the difference 6.5 so 0 0.65 millimeters and i want to do 0 0.065 as the smaller mil alternate dimensions and this as my grid at 0 0.65 let's start by placing pads uh, I'll normally choose the smallest pad possible and I'm going to tell you why later uh, and just place it there. If we zoom in, you can see it says P1 point, P dollar one and then P dollar two. And this is normally not very good. I want to do uh, some changes right now. I'm going to change this to one, change this to two. Okay. Uh, now select and then do a copy, right click, copy group. And I'm gonna place them here. So if you see here, it was one, two, three, and four. Oh my God, that's that's convenient. If somebody has a better way of doing this, please do let me know. Okay, is double escape. Select them again. Copy. Right click. Group. Eight. So what's the count? Eight. Uh, escape. Select. Copy. Uh, copy group. So I should be down to sixteen. Yep, it's working. It's working. Uh, again, take. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> escape, escape. Select. Okay, I'm not interested in selecting all of them. How many are, are left? So 17, 18, and 19. Just three of them. So select three of them. Copy that. Right click, copy group, and it should be able to place till 19. So I've got 19 uh, pins placed. This is going to save you a lot of time by renaming them in the start because uh, when you do this manually for each pin it's gonna be very problematic <clears throat> right click copy the entire group and place it arbitrarily anywhere the reason is if you see 20 pins up here I want it down there so select everything rotate rotate group rotate group and I should be done so select them all uh move move group and i'm able to move it let's put them in an arbitrary location and this is pin number 38 37 30 blah 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 so this has already gotten a lot easier now <clears throat> i'm interested in uh the dimension in between the rows is 7.4 millimeters i'm going to use this this is a temporary thing but i'm going to put it on uh, t place so start from here I want how much 7.4 oh, 7.15 7.8 click the alt button and we can go into a the alternate 
uh, dimensions. I'm going to choose uh, 7.4 and mm, can we just zoom in to see if I can there we go and there we go mm, this is gonna be a bit difficult right click and 7.4 <coughs> yeah yep yeah. All right, let's again select just this much. Move, right click, move group, and move this. Oh, no, 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 not there, not there. Click Alt again, and move it just where you want it. And twang. yep it's a uh, it may be a little bit of uh it may be have a little bit of an offset Ooh, and that's why 0 0.065 click ok see i make mistakes too no problem at all let's move everything in here let's do an undo let's do a control d control z uh let's check out the grid again it's 0 0.065 let's do another dim i start here 7.15, no problem at all. 7. Point, let's click the Alt button. And 7.48, 7.41, good enough. <coughs> uh, let's select, deselect everything, select only this. Zoom into my base pad. Click Move, right click here, Move Group. Right click here, move group, and now I'm going to start by moving. No, no, no. Click the Alt and. Ta da! Okay. Uh, that done, I'm going to select delete and I'm going to select something in the middle and that deletes it. Cool. Uh, so the pads don't really look like what they, what I expect them to be. So these pads are. 0 0.3 by 1.8 so the x dimension is 1.8 millimeters so what i'm going to do is again select everything now select uh this tool is called change go down to smg dot 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 i want it to be 1.8 that's the x dimension and the y dimension is 0 0.3 so 0 0.3 okay right click change group bang right okay now let's add the uh, outline to it so I want to add a small um, line here all the way around here I don't want to create an entire thing okay oops 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 yeah okay fine no problems uh, and I want to start by clicking here and all the way a little bit. I want I want a curve here, right? So let's go into the curvy part. Click and click and oops, the upper click. Click and click on the Alt button. Ding ding ding, and you should be able to. There we go. Escape, 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 and there we go. Um, we need the text for name, name, and uh, this is okay. I'm gonna put this on T names. Where's the T names? T names, T names, T names. There we go. So, name here, and I want the T values. Hold on. So, I want this called value. Okay, it's on the value T value layer. I like to put it down here. So, clicky clicky and save that now <clears throat> i've created the footprint for it now i want to create a symbol okay 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 so close this window oh you'll double click let's create a new symbol it's going to be called the msp 430 f2274 create a new symbol oh yes please create a new symbol this is the symbol editor don't mess with this grid if you mess with this grid i cannot guarantee if you'll be able to connect it in the schematic because the schematic wires kind of have to 
click uh, in the right places. Um, so this is a 38 pin uh, uh, symbol. So let's take a look at the symbol. It's probably at the top of the data sheet. And uh, there we go. Oh my God, that's a lot of names. Test, DVCC, I don't have a time for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start uh, by putting a outline line right here. Temporary stuff. Uh, let's escape, escape. Let's start by putting the pins. I like shorter pins. Um, one, two. Okay, let's rename these as well. So info on this is going to be pin number one. Info on this is going to be two. Same concept applies. Just select these, copy, right click, copy, group. Three, four, copy. I can do this by two and two. So five, six, it won't matter. Let's escape, uh, select these copy that copy group and paste them right there so 12 i need till 19 so i'm gonna do copy right click group copy and it's 18 i just need one more so copy this one pin oops paste it there there we go uh delete this thing it doesn't look nice and ding. <coughs> cool right now select pins copy right click group copy and i'm gonna right click twice to just rotate it off the bat and it's complete add a little bit of text uh this is gonna be name and i'm gonna put it on t names names uh i'm gonna have a values and oops 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 it's gonna be called value is on the values layer okay and save that control this vi window uh, go a back into device and now the device is MSP 430 F2274 DA um, the reason why I'm adding this slash DA is just so that I know that it's that particular package Add a uh, new package to this. Click on that, select OK. So this is my variant. This is the SOP38. You can have a number of variants connected to the same microcontroller. You can have the dip socket. You can create the dip uh, socket and then you can select the footprint from when you add it to the schematic. We'll do, do, do that in a different video. From here, click on this, uh, add. This is my component. Smack dab in the middle. There we go. Uh, this is the origin thingy. Uh, if you want to delete it in the schematic, you have to click on this. So I'd like to keep it somewhere in the center normally. <clears throat> okay. Um, next, we you go into connect. So connect G1 with pin 1. So connect, 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 file new schematic this is this is the new schematic how do i add the new component just simply right click add to schematic and there we go so you can see that even though the uh names on this thing are not very usable uh still i see pin number one one two two three and three and the reason why i did this first was because if i start to use if i do the names in the library itself when i first do it it creates more issues when I do the connect and I have to find out, oh, with pin number one, pin number one is test. So if I do test and I have to find through the list uh, where it's supposed to go, here I'm just gonna just go here. Uh, pin number one is now gonna be called test. Save that, Just I'm just gonna change one pin, okay? Add test schematic, it's gonna ask me, do you want to update it with the version? Yes, I want to update it with the version. So now it says test, but pin number one. Simply go into net, click, and I can start using it. All right. Okay, next to polish things a bit. Uh, as you can see, the mechanical data says that the plastic package itself is A dimensions by maximum of 6.2 mm.
eight dimensions being 438 pins going to be 12.60 millimeters uh, now in this instance what i've done is i've taken the liberty of creating the 12.57 it's the same um, system just use uh, the grid to form uh, using the dimension tools create the two dimensions and then use the line tool to create a rectangle uh, now what this is necessary is i want to put something on the uh, t document layer so what i'm going to do is uh, click on select select this thing uh, i want to change the layer and i want to change it from t place to a layer uh, called t doc u hold on should be somewhere around here there we go top documentation okay the reason is that this is going to be used by the ecad mcad uh, in a later video so i just wanted to clarify uh, the use of this particular uh, thing i'm just going to move this hold on i'm just going to flip this delete this delete this because you know that the dimensions are right now i'm going to just select uh move right click move group and i'm going to be able to move this click on alt and i'm going to position this so that i can uh put it mechanically aligned with the pins so it should be okay okay mm. Mm. That'll do pig. Um, yeah, it's not perfectly right. You can mess with this a little more if you'd like. Uh, try to center it, uh, center it as much as possible. And uh, I've also moved the whole component so that this bottom, uh, the origin is in the middle of the package. So in this schematic, what I have to do is select board. It's going to say create a board from the schematic. I say yes. It's going to create an empty board click on move so this is my uh, component as you can see the double lines click on layers click on tdoc and select ok and it, that kind of disappears um, so that, that that's necessary for my mechanical drawings and uh, when I use this thing um, but beyond that uh, your uh, footprint was complete and it's just a little polish off and you just should do uh, that mechanical drawing part uh, the white stuff that you see now this is what's going to get printed on uh, your PCB so in a lot of cases uh, you might want to change uh, your um, size of the text let's smash and then I have to go and uh, where's the change size i'm going to change it to a very small size so you can see small size small size move this text from there to all the way up here and move this from you know what i'll put it there i'll move this here i'm going to put it right there because i don't want it to be okay uh, so this kind of stuff you can do in the layout itself and the later on but you can change the size of the text and the thickness of these uh, lines uh, while designing your uh, footprint so that basically uh, concludes uh, my little tutorial on creating new components so this is my ultra quick workflow for creating um, footprints and uh, new symbols new components in eagle uh, if you find something that you like please link uh, please like and subscribe the video the if you find that you have a better way of doing this please le leave me a comment in the description and i'll see you in the next video where i'm gonna do what am i gonna do next i'm going to do some oh yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna do a schematic and ultimately i'm gonna take this entire thing uh into fusion 360 and create an enclosure for it so stay tuned for that um thanks for watching and again like and subscribe